Hey loves, welcome to wig series. Oh my gosh, like I wish I had like some type of background noise of like yeah, like a crowd cheering at a baseball game or something because like this is big, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how I put on my frontals, my wear my frontal wigs using the ball cap method and I'm just going to start off by cutting little holes by my earlobes so the um, cap will stick really good to my sides and my sideburns and um, then I'm going to take some got to be glue spray freezer spray and I'm just going to put that on the perimeter of my head and you're gonna want to make sure that this is on pretty good I usually do about like two layers of this two or three layers depending on what type of time I'm on um, but yeah basically just make sure that it's really good on the sideburns on the side and then also just everywhere and I rub it in just to make sure that it's really sticking on so I'm super excited about wig series so then I'm going to blow dry my hair and then I'm going to just go around the perimeter just back and forth just blow dry make sure you get this really super dry it has to be dry because you're going to cut the ball cap so if it's not dry it's gonna mess up and that's not what you want to do so here you see that I am just cutting along the perimeter of my head you want to get as close to your hair um, as possible the point of a ball cap putting it under your wig is not only to make the wig look natural but it's also to protect your edges you want to protect your hair all the from these lace glues and got to be glues so just make sure that you um, cover your edges really nicely and that the ball cap is on very precise and very neat. You want to make sure that your real hair under the wig is protected because that's the most important thing. Like your real hair has to be flourishing sis, under those wigs. Okay, so sorry, wigs really like I get so crunk about wigs. I get too excited. Sorry. Moving on. Now listen sister, cutting this ball cap is the most important part. Like, take your time and get it as close to your edges as possible, but take your time because this step, like if you mess up the ball cap, your wig is basically screwed and you have to start all over. So, um, after you finish cutting your ball cap perfectly, you are going to notice that the edges of it are sticking up so to just slip those down and make sure that your ball cap is really laying super flat and it's filleted you just want to take some gotta be glued and go around the perimeter really neat a really thin you know but good enough layer to lay the edges of the ball cap down and blow dry it dry it to perfection and then um, you're going to take some foundation that is your shade on um, your nude ball cap. Make sure you get a nude ball cap and make sure you use your shade foundation because the point of this foundation, you got to think about it guys, when you are parting your hair, your scalp is in black. So don't go get a black ball cap or don't get a dark brown ball cap because your scalp isn't dark brown or black in real life so that's why you want to get a nude ball cap when you're doing a frontal and then you want to use a foundation shade your foundation shade or you can use a powder I don't have a foundation powder so I don't use a foundation powder um, but it will probably be a lot more neater you know so but either one will work just fine so I use my fluid and I'm just taking the gotta be glued around the perimeter of my head again and I blow dry it now pulling the wig forward I am placing my wig right before my ball cap and also you want to put mousse on your head before you start trying to place your wig down because you don't want the flyaways to get in your way like it was doing for me 
So just start off by using the foam first and then putting your wig down right before your ball cap. And I'm not going to use my fingers or my hands to really lay the wig down. I'm going to be using the end, sorry for being so ghetto, <laughs> and using a coloring to color the brush that I use to color my hair. But I usually use my rat tail comb. I couldn't find it. It was late. So yeah, this is it works just fine. So using the back of a comb, use that to really um, place your wig down on your forehead. You don't want to use your hands because your hands have sweat on them. So that's going to make the wig, the lace turn white. And, and it's going to change the color. Not really bad, but you don't want that. So you want to make it look as seamless as possible. And you want to really make sure that you secure those sideburns because let me tell you, girl, the sideburns are going to come up first. Those are going to be the first to go. They come up first. So you really want to make sure that you are really securing them down. That's when I start to use my finger to make sure that those are really down. And I also use my nails, girl. If you have long nails, use your nails to help you to really slick it down. Just use your resources. Do what you got to do. But just try not to use your hands as much because you don't want your sweat to interfere with the lace. So just continue. I remember watching so many YouTube videos and on this method, on the ball cap method, and nobody ever said like, where do you put the frontal? Like, do you put it behind the lace cap? Do you put, do you put it, I mean the ball cap, do you put it like how far in front of the ball cap do you put it? You put it right before. If you put it too far above, too far in front of your ball cap your lace then it's gonna you're gonna be able to see that space between it so you put it exactly right before if you place it in the right place your lace front is gonna look flawless so you're gonna know if you put it in the right place you don't want to put it right on it because you're gonna kind of be able to see the ball cap but you this is how it looks with no baby hairs I know everybody doesn't want baby hairs I still put baby hairs on mine because I love baby hairs. I already told y'all I'm obsessed with baby hairs. And I just feel like it disguises the lace 10 times more. But I didn't do as many because this is, I feel like this could be a beginner wig for some, for you guys. So I didn't do as much, but I did do some. But basically you do want to make sure that the wig is dry once you place the wig down. And you want to make sure that it is very secure and melted into your skin. So actually, looking back on this, I probably could have put my lace like a little, little, little bit further back. But honestly, look, the baby hairs disguise it. And I, it wasn't, it's not bad at all, but you do have a little, I do have a little bit more room. But I told y'all, it was late, I was tired. But at the end, it's all going to come together and it's going to look great. You're not even going to notice it. But just like maybe like a half a centimeter in front of the ball cap. The star of this show, dun dun dun, this affordable, curly, cute, bomb lace frontal 360 wig is brought to you by Elva Hair Wigs. Yeah! Okay. So Elsa hair wigs, I got this hair from AliExpress, this wig from AliExpress, and I love the hair first off, and I'm going to give you the specs on this hair. So this hair is the Curly 360 Frontal Brazilian Bob Wig from Elva hair wigs. Um, I wrote all the specs down, guys, because I cannot remember shit, <laughs> but I got... 14 inch natural color and they said that this is pre-plucked baby hair but I always go in and do my own baby hairs however that is also up to you like how you want to if you want to wear the baby hairs the way the way that they came or if you want to customize it some more frontals are all about personal like how you like it how you want it to be in customization that's why I like it because you can make it how you want it 
Um, so I have a video of me plucking my frontal and me bleaching my knots. I thought that I lost the footage, but I actually ended up finding the footage today. So that's why bleaching the knots and plucking the frontal video did not come first before this video. But that video will definitely be up next week. And trying to combine the videos would have been, the video would have been entirely too long. So, because I want that video to be very detailed as well. So, I use lace, I use gel, got to be glue gel to adhere my lace instead of like a lace glue. Because for me, I tried the ghost bond and it didn't work for me. So, I just like the gel and the gel usually lasts me maybe like a day or two because guys, it's gel. So, that's just how my experience works. I paid $97.71. I feel like it was a sale going on. So, right now, as I'm looking at the site, it looks like the 14 inch was like, it's like, one, let me see, 115. And it's 180 density. So, it's 115 right now. So, that's how much it is right now. And I love this hair. I am styling it right now and I'm just putting water on I usually just put water on it just to like refresh it but if I'm really trying to get my curls super juicy and defined like look at how beautiful they look if I'm really trying to get them super juicy and defined I'll show out and I use my Tresemme for curly hair conditioner and this is the only shampoo that I use when I use curly hair I love Tresemme curly products so, and they're really, really affordable. I think they're, you get that big bottle for like three or four bucks. So, it's a steal. Go get on, sis. Um, so, I just really just finger comb it through the hair. And it's important that you judge the hair. And, yeah, this one's a little good. Just to make my part more realistic, I go in with my concealer shade that's as close to my um, scalp as possible or as to like my good concealer shade uh, and I just go through with that. I also use that same stippling brush that I use to put on put my foundation on the ball cap and just put it around the edges of the frontal and there was also like a little ball spot at the top so I just put black eyeshadow just to fill that in a little bit more when you saw me add shadow on the hair and this is how it turns out. It looks super cute. Also Use alcohol to go around the perimeter of your lace so you don't have that shiny sheen from where I put the lace glue at. I didn't feel like doing that because girl, I was tired. But I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this wig review and the start to wig series. This wig, I would definitely recommend. The curls are bomb. You get minimal shedding. It lasts. I've had it since November. It is now April and it's still wearable and it's affordable. And this wig is, it could be a staple in your wig collection and it's great for beginners. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. This is the first of many videos for wig series. So subscribe. Y'all come back now. Yeah.